something? It's the purified water. That's rude. I was recording a whole video just now and my camera just turned off. Anyways, hey guys, it's I Gloria back with another video in my new apartment. Whoa, 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 yeah, yeah. Don't worry, I'll bring a whole room apartment tour, whatever thing, for you guys to see our furnished apartment. It looks really, really pretty right now, but I'm almost done with my room. Once I'm done with my room, then I could go ahead and show you guys um, my space and things like that. But that's not what this video is about. I had some feelings. I was like, God, what kind of video should I record today? Because I really feel like chatting. I feel like I'm in a good mood. And so today's video is about to be on unpopular opinions, Christian edition. I've been meaning to do this and I'm really, really excited. Right? Actually, I'm missing something on this area. How could I film without such? Am I crazy? You cuz, you know, you gotta always rep your say necklace right here this necklace it was gifted to me by the dear blessed afrique boutique you guys already know the shebang if you haven't gotten your own blessed afrique boutique necklace what is it that you're really doing with your life i think i should sit i think i should stand what are you actually doing with your life really so um go ahead and cop your necklace i'm actually wearing the ghana necklace um so you guys should check it out. You know me, I have to wear my Ghana set because, you know, um, once upon a time, you know, I um, have Ghanaians in my family line, you know. What's the problem, man? Yeah, shout out to Bless Africa Boutique, you know what I'm saying? This is a necklace. And then my Uzumaka necklace was sent to me by Vibe Season, but you already know what's up. You already know the game. And my shirt. I know people will ask me. I got this shirt from Iruka Official. Y'all need to check them out. Um, I will leave the links to my shirt and my necklaces down below. Anyways, but yeah, so today's video, I'm going to be talking about unpopular opinions, Christian edition. Oh, mad it took me so long to go ahead and talk about what this video is about to be about. But let's get into the video. Cool. I decided, you know, I wanted to take my time and write it down because I want to start off by saying that um, a lot of times, oftentimes, this is, I guess this can be considered an unpopular opinion. Oftentimes, many Christians do not know how to have their own personal, um, you know, opinion on things. The things that I say are things based off of my personal opinion. If you want some, like, like you know, revelation as to how certain things are done and all that extra stuff, go to the Bible. <laughs> Read your word. Get revelation for yourself. Ask the Holy Spirit because at the end of the day, all of this is a personal walk with God and that's that about that as far as that is concerned. Anyway, that's that about that as far as that is concerned. My first unpopular opinion is as a woman, we do not live for marriage. Oh my God, what? But I feel like growing up, um, a lot of the advice that I received as a young girl has always been geared towards marriage um, or preparation for marriage. Okay, and that's not like anybody will tell you you live for marriage. No one will open their mouth and say that because that even sounds weird, right? But it's just that's the foundational thought, I guess, I would get from them. From most lessons that they would gather us young girls around to talk about. So yeah, I don't believe that women were made solely for marriage. Um, second unpopular opinion. The church isn't your problem, but the esteem you held the church to. And I, oh, that's your problem. I feel like a lot of people walk around blaming churches and organizations and all the left and the third. Truth be told, my dear, I feel you. I feel you like the person next to you. The entire church feels you. Let the church cool but it's just one of those things where it's like it's not really the church but the esteem you held the church to and right now i'm currently reading um i'm doing a devotional and i will link it down below yes yeah, so um how do you forgive when the wound is still open that right there is a good devotional and if you would like a video of me you know reviewing some devotionals devotionals i suggest everyone should read comment that down below and you will get that video soon don't worry it was talking about how or you have to mourn your um expectation that's one of the steps to move past something like right? to finally forgive somebody you have to allow yourself to mourn it i'm not gonna get into that whole church hurt thing because i have a whole video that will be linked up here if you want to watch that video but in a nutshell I'm trying to say you need to mourn your expectations and oftentimes 
I mean, you held the church to a certain esteem and they let you down. That's human beings and that's how it is and it is what it is. You get what I'm saying? If you want to know my personal experience with church hurt and my testimony, once again, it'll be linked up here and down below. So yeah. The next one, number three is just because you're a Christian content fanatic doesn't make you more saved than me or the next person. I first of all do not believe that you can weigh somebody's salvation. Just because you're obsessed with your Jackie Hill Perry's and all the rest, Ezekiel's and co. I don't know. For me personally, I wasn't really into the whole Christian content creating stuff. I'm not gonna hold y'all. Some of y'all be blowing me. I'm not gonna hold you. But it's not that I don't like Christian content. I'm just not a fanatic. So I'm not gonna be like reposting every last thing that Jackie be posted. Like she's cool, but I don't I probably hear something from Dima Ume before I watch something from Jackie. That's just not any shade, but I just, I'm not a fanatic, so yeah. And it doesn't make you more safe because all the people you follow are Christian content influencers. That's great, but yeah. <laughs> That's your interest. Next one is, I believe, this is a fourth one, this is for women. Women in church aren't given much options. Um, I think that's, yeah, I feel like when it comes to how we should dress, our purpose, the conversations we hold aren't really, it's not really that many options and mentorship options aren't really that great either. Um, so let me be honest with you, outfit, outfits, right? This idea of, I mean, I heard overheard something like, oh, no off the shoulders or like, you know, um, I mean, I personally have my own reservations about certain outfits, but there's just certain top outfits I'm like, okay, like a hey, relax or this idea women should not wear pants. Like it's, Everyone should just do as they so believe the Holy Spirit is directing you to. And I believe if you're saved, you will know exactly what you should and should not wear. But this idea of not going to the extreme of saying no pants or like, you know, off the shoulder tops. My guy, as long as your chest is not out there for the world to see, I think any, I don't know, I just don't say really nothing wrong, but that's my personal opinion. You get what I mean. And then on top of that, that idea of purpose, like, you know, not all of us are meant to go into the medical field. I need, I would love to see more women who are in other fields like politics or you know other things that are outside of stem art or whatever i would love to hear them speak in church grounds as well i'm really tired of hearing the typical i mean and this is not no shade right but it's just like there are so many types of women in this world and i personally am just so tired of the church glorifying certain women over the other because of the path that they decide to take on okay she's a doctor or she's a nurse or whatever the case may be right and at least we're now accepting entrepreneurs this is just it's crazy but it's just like okay and like she's married and she has kids she's the iconic christian woman to look up to but it's like it, let me let me challenge you a bit we live in a world where like feminism see feminists are really like ru like ruling this world right now and granted right i'm really here for female women empowerment that's really what i stand by but i'm not here for bashing men either or mashing men's um position and things like that and i feel like sometimes people tend to miss the two i would consider myself an african feminist or a complementarist something i learned in africana studies 213 shout out to dr Susie okoro but um yeah so i learned that at the end of the day i am the kind of woman that is fighting for her space i'm fighting for for there not to be any boundaries on me i'm not interested in being a man or doing as men do i'm a woman i just need my own space thank you so much that's all i'm asking for really i need to be able to thrive if i ask for this i want to be able to get that and i don't want it to be get like like taken away from me or not um give it to me because i'm a woman i think i mean i mean come on now let's not do that but yeah so that's how i see the whole after the whole idea of like woman empowerment now i believe in the church even with like you know the bible and stuff like that but i believe the bible is favoring to women it just depends on how you want to look at it i feel like as women we have specific roles men have specific roles if we stop looking at it as one is over the other yes there we, there's terms like head and tail and things like that but once again if you remember Remember, the same Bible we read talks about the body of Christ, meaning the hand is not more important than the head, or the head is not more important than the foot. So it's just in positions, different positions. So in that idea, there is equality in the Bible. It just depends on how you interpret it and also how it's been taught to you. So I don't blame a lot of people for being mad at the church for how, it, like, women not having options because I also feel like sometimes people in the church fall prey to this belief of women are literally under men, but we hold so much value. You can see it from the beginning with Eve. So it's, 
it's it's very it's very it's very interesting how I see things but anyways so I just want to say like you know that we have a lot more purpose out here we have a lot more women doing things and I would like to see that representation in the church so what, what else did I say conversations okay listen I'm tired of gathering in huge circles it's one thing to be with your friends and always talk about guys but then it's another thing to be in a huge circle with women that you don't really talk to on a regular basis to now talk about men like come on like men are probably talking about all these other things and we're here talking about marriage and like relationships and why don't we challenge women a little step further to talk about other things such as like you know um women empowerment careers talk about content creating or creativity or our insight our thought on this like let's talk about it you know so let's talk about sexuality let's talk about these things in church but it's like our conversations if it's solely just marriage and we want to keep believing that people are not doing tense outside it's i'm sorry let it's harsh reality harsh truth but the, t the times are changing so and I don't believe I don't believe we should not mold into the times but what I am saying though is that God I believe has placed before us plans if the word is truly a living word this word still is very relevant in today's time so I believe we need to dig a little deeper dig a little deeper, dig a little deeper. okay but we need to dig a little deeper when it comes to like the things that we are teaching us young women and it's like imagine seeing these things online and it's like you still hold on to your your beliefs you still hold on to your values the things you've been taught and they've been you've been guided through but you don't have anybody willing to get into those conversations with you and guide you without rebuking you and then mentorship okay Thanks, shout out to the mentors I've had in my life. Luckily for me, God has always placed before me people who are very odd, different, and weird. We just love it. You guys are all weird, and you're weird because I'm weird, and we're weird all together. So I'm just lucky. But I just be seeing some of the mentor options that people have, and I'm like, I'm so sorry, right? Once again, and I say this with all due respect, but you even as a mentor haven't really experienced much, and they come and pair somebody who is like extroverted creative and all over the place with somebody who is introverted sheltered and it's like i don't understand how mentorship really works i just feel like it's like and then, it's just like nah like the mentorship options and then 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 you have that one cool mentor like i believe my mentor currently at church i feel like she's really dope i feel like she's really cool and because she's so cool sometimes it sucks because everybody goes to her because she's so down to earth and so real and i believe if everybody who is given the opportunity to be a mentor can be down to earth and real and like open and like truthful because y'all were all once our age at one point why try to hold yourself to some false esteem like granted though there are some people who i genuinely feel like your life just wasn't like that something like that idea of like boy crazy and da, da 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 like that just wasn't you and i know so many people like that but it's like but why does it seem like there are so much more people who were like that even though i know man i grew up with you you can't come and tell me you weren't like that i remember you stop it what you ain't that much older than me your tv on the streets so let's not <laughs> let's just be honest with ourselves here anyways next opinion um it's not cute to go off to school and forget about church y'all are scary back to church because there's just a lot of spiritual things that go on like i've really been tried many times but i just thank god for like you know every time the church is always readily available and like you know my god brother just that spirituality just you want to make sure you can guard yourself you can do it on your own y'all so go back to church it doesn't it won't kill you or at least if you can't go back to your home church find a church to go to like i'm not really a fan of that that's just my personal opinion convictions are personal Convictions are personal. Um, the Lord told you something. You can share it, but um, he told me something too. As long as you're ready to hear what I have to say. That's all. Anyways, I'm never going to get into that. Just because someone left your institution, your church, does not make that person a sinner. I feel like each church has an assigned demographic that they are supposed to feed and, um, you know, serve. That whole idea of judging somebody because they left your church, my guy, like, really? In this pandemic? I'm saying all this stuff and... Um, I used to be one of those Christians, so that's why I'm sharing my opinions now. I've grown a whole lot since then, but I do say like, bruh, if you're still like that, I'm telling you, 
don't flatter yourself there are a lot of churches out there anyways uh number eight or nine whatever number it is how much you serve does not dictate your salvation oh my god i'm sorry growing up let me tell you i used to be a serve queen if you know me you know but let me tell you something about serving right if you serve and you have no real relationship with the lord you are bound to get hurt let me just put it like that and 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 so 2011 till like 2016 i was doing all the things right but then still didn't meet the mark i felt like i was so far away from god and that's just because sometimes i don't, I don't know i just feel like we're just obsessed with service and like sometimes service can really be a distraction to your walk and then you talk about church or you talk about these things but like if you're serving with no premise like it doesn't make sense just get direction before you just throw yourself in the pool of service african churches are not canceled <clears throat> to be brave. It's the purified water. No, there's really something no. Like, I just, I don't understand. African churches are not canceled. Me, I have you singing all about told you about love. Really though, there is no way. I get it. African churches come with its own wahala, but every church comes with its own wahala. And I feel like the wahala that you know is better than the wahala you don't know. So I would stay in my African church. That's how I see it. Um, and last one. People say it, it's on shirts and everything, but I don't really think people understand it. You were saved by grace and not by people. Um, whether or not that person was gonna come up to you and speak to you, and this is a revelation I had to have for myself, whether or not that person was gonna come up to you and speak to you, God was still gonna find a way to save you. He can raise, like just that whole idea of, you know, he can raise stones to praise him just as much as he can raise anybody, even an infant, to get you saved. So let nobody feel flattered about the fact that they walked you into the, the salvation walk. You were gonna get saved regardless because you were called, you were paid for with a price. All right, that's that in this video. Thank you guys so much for watching this video i hope you guys enjoyed and took something from it share this video with your friends tell me like let's talk down below me i got all i feel all the heat let's go we trying to fight i feel like sometimes we need to have these spaces where we can share our popular opinion as christians and not be scared like what what you gonna do for it like tear is long follow my social medias down below um watch the videos i linked up here watch my next video which will be here and here bye talk to you at a later date